Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video, and for this video I'm here. Uh, now this video was pre-recorded, I did have some live narration, but then I decided to cancel that after I saw what happened. But earlier this day, this is the morning of the giveaway, this is literally a few minutes before the giveaway is going to begin. Earlier this morning there were about 97 people online, and I estimated that there were only going to be 100 to 150 people online for the actual giveaway. Boy was I wrong. Uh, this went downhill and chaotic really fast as you guys can see 321 people online in the guild right now just right as i log in i see that guild chat is being spammed like crazy people are spamming their referral links people are writing in all caps people are saying uh, really really dumb stuff and swearing and all that stuff and then the complaints filed in as well people were saying other guys were spoiled rogue one for them and um all this stuff so it really got a little bit crazy and chaotic is the best way to describe what happened for those of you who don't know, I was having a little bit of a guild giveaway this morning, so I had the one tab in the guild bank full of some really nice items, and I said I'm going to open that tab and every single person in the guild can withdraw one item at this time, which is 12pm PST, and so uh, what you'll see me doing in this video is running over to the guild bank. And I did end up getting kicked off the guild flagship because there were so many people that logged on to the guild flagship. And what you also see is as I get to the guild bank on the fleet, there's just a mass crowd of people who are members of the guild uh, just sitting there waiting to, uh, to get an item. And so you guys can probably tell this is going to go. It's not going to go too well at all. Uh, and um, yeah, so the purpose of this video and why I'm making this is number one, to talk about some of the problems that came up with this giveaway. And what some people didn't seem to understand, especially um, especially people who started hating afterward, uh, because a lot of people started sending hate messages saying this giveaway sucked or all this stuff. And I'm always there for constructive feedback, but I definitely don't do these giveaways to be, to have like verbal abuse shot at me. Uh, I'm used to dealing with a little bit of hate on my YouTube channel, but people can get pretty toxic. And what you'll see in the guild chat is people did get pretty toxic, uh, especially when they got a little salty because they didn't get something for free. Anyways, I will be dealing with a lot of these, I'll be identifying these problems in this video and dealing with it and talking about a possible solution because um, I do want these giveaways to be accessible and I want them to be something that's fun, not something that gives people frustration or anxiety or something like that. Anyways, so um, yeah, if you're ever wondering if you send me a whisper or a message why I might not respond, it's because... While on normal days it's not as hectic as what you'll see in guild chat, I do get spammed with a ton of whispers, a ton of people asking me questions, and it's really, really hard to manage all of those. So just a quick side note there, I'm not trying to ignore you, I'm not trying to um, uh, you know, say you're not important enough to talk to her or anything, it's definitely just that I've probably missed your message. Alright, so I'm just going to run over to the guild bank. One of the reasons I actually liked this video and really wanted to upload it was just for the epicness of what this is. I mean, is there really a video on YouTube that showcases something like this where there's 323 people of a guild online? And it, yeah, it's for a giveaway. And giveaways tend to draw really large crowds. But this is absolutely insane. Look at the mass of people that are here, all from the Deceased Guild, which is the name of the giveaway guild. And as you guys can see, there are some really, really nice prizes. So it's really no wonder that uh, people got drawn to it. So if you guys are wondering exactly what I did, I just went to the Dark Council tab and everyone in the guild is Dark Council rank except for myself. I let everyone know in the guild chat that I was going to be applying the permissions for everyone to take one withdraw from the tab uh, in five seconds. Then I waited the five seconds and clicked apply permissions. And I'm going to uh, stop the narration here for just a second so I don't ruin the epicness of this moment because this was absolutely crazy. The screen just froze. I mean, I have a $3,000 PC. This has really never happened to me before. But the screen just froze and then I go back to the Emperor's tab and everything is gone literally in a second. And you guys can see everyone's kind of whoa what just happened in the guild chat it really was insane and i can't imagine what it was like on the receiving end of this because because i was switching tabs so i was going from the manage tab to the emperor's gift tab i'm kind of interested to see what it might have been like for someone who just sitting there watching all the items go away in literally a second it must have been uh, pretty crazy and so yeah i think this video in and of itself is a little bit of history I, it's something really cool and epic that happened in the game and uh, it's pretty crazy that i was able to do something like this but on the other hand Obviously, it indicates that there were some major problems with the giveaway and how it worked. And the first one was guild spam. Uh, people were spamming like crazy in the guild. People were getting toxic. People who started doing hate stuff and swearing. And that's definitely not okay. This is meant to be a fun guild and it's meant to be for everyone. There are probably kids in this guild and stuff. So definitely shouldn't uh, be uh, saying, you know, dumb stuff and swearing too much. And the other thing is... Um, 
and uh, is hate like come on this is a giveaway you don't have to hate just because you didn't win anything and this was meant to be a trial run i mentioned this numerous times in other videos this was a trial run just to see what would happen there's a reason i didn't put arbiter sabers and, and divine vented sabers in this giveaway because i didn't want the uh because i think that would have caused a real ruckus because people would go crazy to try to get one of those Anyways, I was trying to get a word in here, but definitely not going to happen with all the guild spam that was happening. And I just started getting tons of like group invites and whatever. But I had to decline all of those because uh, a little bit overwhelmed I did get. To speak in Yoda terms, overwhelmed I did get. Um, so basically, to deal with this guild cha spat cham, it was uh, this guild chat spam. Uh, it's actually quite easy to deal with it simply i was actually had the ability to just simply go into the guild uh, and restrict everyone who was the dark council rank to, from uh, putting stuff in the guild chat so they can still view the guild chat but they simply can't contribute to the guild chat and that would have basically stopped all the spam right in its tracks i didn't think of that at that moment because i was a little overwhelmed but um but now that i know i can do that I can definitely do that for future giveaways. So when we do have like hundreds of people online at the same time, obviously chat can get really crazy. And so the easiest thing to do would just be say, no one can contribute in chat, only myself and the guild officers can put stuff in chat so people can still get information about what what exactly is going on. But at least that way we won't have all this spam. So that's one problem solved right there. The second problem was, as you guys saw, lag. And I do understand that frustration. People said there was lag for me, that's not fair, like just because I have a bad computer or just because, you know, I lagged for two seconds while other people obviously didn't lag because they were able to take items out from the guild bank, that's kind of sucks. Well, I'm going to be simply doing a new system and that's going to be using the weekly withdraw. And as you guys see, I'm typing into guild chat here, trying to let everyone know that, look, this is an idea that I had and this is something that I might want to implement. Obviously, this wasn't the right way to do it because, um, uh, people obviously aren't going to read exactly what I wrote. The chat's going way too fast. But I did say that I would have another giveaway this Saturday, and that would allow for people that um, that took out something now to not participate in that giveaway. Now, as people admit, as people rightfully outlined, I was wrong because the weekly withdrawals reset on Tuesday, which means people that took something from this giveaway will be able to take from other future giveaways because it's basically going to reset tomorrow. Now, that's fine, but. What I'm thinking about doing is actually giveaways that are consecutive days. So for example, I would do a giveaway on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday. So those would be five giveaways all in, an, in a row. And what that means is if someone was able to win something on the Tuesday, then they won't be able to win something on the Wednesday because their weekly withdrawal limit has been reached, which is only one item from the Emperor's Gift tab. And same thing. So basically, if someone won something on the Tuesday uh, and they just simply aren't, um, then they won't be able to participate in the future giveaways. And if someone was not able to win just anything, well, technically on the fifth day, you should have a really, really good chance of getting something from the guild tabs because they're going to be constantly refilled, right? And, um, and I'll be outlining the system in a lot more detail in a future video. So please, please don't be uh, spamming me with whispers and questions about when the new giveaways are going to be, how they're going to work and stuff. I will be outlining the system in a future video. I'm simply just giving you the raw kind of idea that I have right now. And I think that should solve a lot of the problems because in a guild of 800 members, where keep in mind, uh, quite a few of them are also alts. Uh, if I do five giveaways in a row, well, that's one week of 500 items around that mu much. So basically, 500 members in the guild should be able to get an item. That's quite a lot of people who are able to get free stuff. And obviously, there are going to be a few losers, people who just didn't get anything. That's really unfortunate, but that is also the nature of giveaways. I simply can't give away something to everyone. It's a little bit too hard. Um, the other thing is, if I do decide to do this system where I do five consecutive giveaways in a w row, I obviously won't be able to keep that up for an entire week because it gets really overwhelming, as you guys can see. And I would probably need to take like a week or two weeks of a break, a hiatus, and then do another set of giveaways a few weeks later. And in that time, obviously, we'll be doing a lot of fun stuff in the guild. So if you do want to just participate and, and do a lot of fun stuff, we will be having events like PvP events, PvE events. Officers are very, very much engaged, and we are in dialogue with each other. We're going to be creating a guild calendar soon. And, um, and so, yeah, we'll have a lot. And we do have active members. Like, oftentimes, uh, during peak times, there are like 80, 90 members actually online, which is actually really, really crazy and uh, very active for a guild. Um, yeah, so those kind of deal with some of the major problems. Oh, one other thing you might be wondering are alts. Now, that can be a huge problem because uh, 
alts because the weekly withdraw limit is not legacy wide so someone could easily just re-log in with a different alt that's in the guild and take out another item well i can tell who has alts in the guild because of their legacy name and so what i'll simply be doing is i'll be um not removing everyone's alts but setting everyone's alt to a different rank and that rank won't be able to access the guild bank so simply no one with alts in the guild will be able to take out more than one item per week from the guild tab and so that should definitely um uh, fix that problem all right the other quick thing about this giveaway was uh yeah, I mean, a lot of people actually sent me messages afterwards saying, were you too overwhelmed? I'm sorry for all the people that were hating. I just want you to know I'm really grateful for it. And I'm really grateful for your messages because it does help to counteract all the hate that kind of went around. And uh, there was some in the chat, as you guys might have seen, but there were also a lot that were sent to me by mail. People saying they didn't like the giveaways and stuff like that. And that's fine. I'm always there for constructive feedback. But when you start doing, you know, hate messages and it gets a little bit toxic, I don't respond well to that. And it does uh, affect me a little bit because I'm like, come on, I'm giving away free stuff and I'm trying to do my best here. And uh, then you have people like this guy who just spammed in the guild chat. And now what you'll see is just the guild chat goes absolutely crazy. This guy says he'll, if you write a number in between 1 and 400, I'll be giving you a free course slug handler license, and then people just went crazy in the guild chat. So that definitely has to be dealt with. Um, yeah, and a lot of people messaged me saying, I uh, hope you were okay and stuff, and I definitely am. Like, I'm used to this kind of stuff, uh, having a YouTube channel, because I've gotten lots of hate stuff in, in the past, but that's not something that every YouTuber just has to deal with. I don't get too affected by it, but this was a little bit overwhelming, but definitely, uh, uh, you know, it wasn't a big problem at all. I'm going to be dealing with a lot of these problems in the future. So let me know what you guys think of this new system in the, in the comments below, and keep in mind, it's just the nature of giveaways that not everyone is going to be able to win, not everyone is going to be happy with the outcome. I will agree this was really chaotic and crazy, but I think having five consecutive giveaways in a row will help deal with that because, sure, while the first giveaway is probably going to be really, really chaotic, the one that happens on the Tuesday, for example, that would probably be crazy uh, because hundreds of people will be online as it was today and um, they're probably going to be crazy amounts of lag. But for the people who didn't win anything, well, then on the next few days, uh, you'll have just a greater and greater chance of winning something. And by the fifth day, if you haven't absolutely, if you haven't picked up a single item, well, you should have a really, really good chance—a better chance, definitely, than any other giveaway system I've seen. The other quick thing is well, the reason I like this kind of consecutive giveaways is because you kind of there's an element of choice to it. It's not just uh, spam. Uh, you know your your, um, your clicker and try to get whatever you can out of the guild because we, let's say for example I'm a, I'm a player I'm in the guild I, I look in the guild bank and I see the jetpack well then I have to kind of decide do I want to pick up the jetpack now or do I maybe want to wait for tomorrow's giveaway and try to get a gold item or a volatile conqueror saber or a cather honor sword or something else that's really really cool in that giveaway uh, maybe you you know um, or maybe you just kind of want to don't test your luck and you're just like, now nah, I'll just pick this up. At least I'll get something for free. So there is that element of choice to it. I doubt that uh, I doubt that that will really play a major role considering how quick these items went. In a matter of a second, every single item was cleared out of the bank. And I do anticipate future giveaways being like that. However, that's just uh, the nature of these giveaways. I do think on the whole, this was actually successful. It might not seem that way. But I got a lot of messages of people who had won and said they were really, really happy and they were overjoyed that they had won something. And that's great. At the end of the day, there were 300 something people online and 90 of them got to have something for free. I don't think any other giveaway system can really match that. While uh, it's unfair for people who lagged, yeah, I get that and it can be frustrating. But at the end of the day, I do know that 90 people got to go home with something for free. And, uh, and a lot of people were grateful and happy for that based upon the feedback from them and the messages I got. And so I'm happy that at least I was able to give something to those winners. And with these consecutive giveaways that I'm planning on doing in the future, there'll just be so many more winners. And that should really be a system that people are a little bit happier with. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are still excited for future giveaways. I definitely am still excited to work on this. At the end of the day, as long as free stuff goes to people, I'm happy. Um, and I will just continue to, continue to try to revamp this system. I'm always open to suggestions, so leave them in the comment section. I'm really, I am reading the comments. I'm reading all the mails and whispers I get, and I'm really trying to see uh, and engage how you guys are feeling about this. But I want to quickly say, I know that a, folk, a lot of my focus, a lot of my time with this channel has gone towards a new guild I created, and I do kind of recognize that, and it's taking its toll because there were a lot of really cool video ideas I wanted to work on, just 
just a videos that I normally would do on my channel, but this guild has taken a little bit of time away from that. And so I am going to be making a return to making some guides, to making some credit videos, and to making some uh, really awesome epic crazy stuff. So I'm going to be making a return to that. I'm going to be taking a step away from the guild and kind of ignoring that for a little bit. Uh, today's giveaway was really epic and hectic. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.